Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. Friends, in this video, we will discuss difference between SMPS power supply and a welding machine. SMPS power supply, switch mode power supply, and welding machine, they are working in the same method. But there is a very small difference between them. I received a message from one of my viewers. Hello Haseeb, thanks for great series on IGBT welding machine. Thank you. Please can you explain what is the difference? He asked me to explain the difference between SMPS power supply and SMPS welding machine. Basically in SMPS power supply, the duty cycle is adjusted to change voltage but current constant. In the welding machine, the duty cycle is adjusted to change the current, but the voltage stays fixed. There are two types of SMPS power supplies. One is current mod, the second is voltage mod. But in welding machine, it is only current mod. This power supply is voltage mod SMPS. What is difference between voltage mod SMPS? We will discuss now. SMPS basically is two types current mod and voltage mod. Voltage mod this power supply will establish the voltage at this pin where the feedback is connected. This power supply will start functioning, this IC will switch. When it will switch, it will produce voltage in secondary winding. First winding it is 14 volt 1.2 ampere. The second winding 5 volt 2 ampere and if we see the feedback circuit this feedback circuit is connected to this 5 volt section when we will receive 5 volt at this pin it will enable this optocoupler using this TL431 voltage regulator and it will give a feedback pulse so this IC will maintain the duty cycle to produce 5 volt here. When this 5 volt level will drop, it will switch again. When it will maintain its 5 volt, so it will stop switching. So it will maintain its duty cycle to fulfill the voltage level at here. Now, when the voltage 5 volt is achieved without load, so this capacitor will discharge slowly. So when it will discharge slowly, it will give a pulse. This pulse will be translated and it will feed to this feedback pin. And very slow rate of ripples will reach at feedback pin. But if we collect a load, this 2 ampere load, these ripples will cause to discharge this capacitor rapidly. Quick pulse will reach at this optocoupler and it will translate it into varying electrical voltage, electrical pulse to this pin. So it, this IC will switch fastly. When it will switch again, as soon as it will switch, it will maintain the voltage, it will give feedback. So this closed loop will keep monitoring the voltage and this IC will keep purging the voltage. This line will be maintained at 5 volts. But this voltage will automatically followed by this pin because this 5 volt it is important power supply this power supply is not regulated but it will be regulated with respect to this voltage and other thing without load for example this winding giving 9 volt to VCC pin so this IC will assume that there is no load when the load will increase, how it will monitor due to ripples from this capacitor. It, it will increase its duty cycle, it will increase its pulse width. So it will cause to generate extra magnetic field in this winding. So it will cause to generate extra voltage in this winding as well. Because we need to induce volt more voltage in the secondary, so as well as the this VCC winding, bias winding will take more voltage. So at a specific limit, for example, when this IC will reach its at its maximum level, maximum duty cycle, so this 
auxiliary winding will produce for example it will produce at 16 volt at maximum duty cycle with no load it was providing 9 volt with full load with full duty cycle 16 volt so this 9 volt to 16 volt window will be used to monitor the duty cycle this ic will check the under voltage and over voltage so it will monitor the current value how because as the load will increase it will cause to increase the duty cycle so this ic will monitor that how much load is applied to the output pin so this is function of voltage mod smps friends i will request if you have not subscribed my channel if my videos are informative for you you can subscribe it and if you want to watch my future videos you can press bell icon button if you want now we will check an other example for current mod smps this current mod smps basically it also works current mod and voltage mod it is using 3844 ic it uses external mosfet this resistor 0.55 ohm this resistor is used to monitor the flowing current through this MOSFET in the primary second, in the primary section of the transformer. The amount of current will cause to drop the voltage in this resistor. Value of the drop voltage will apply to current sense spin. So this IC will adjust its duty cycle. It will also receive a voltage level from this VCC pin to monitor the voltage output voltage this is offline switcher condition so as it is 3844 ic so pin number 2 is feedback so this ic is taking feedback from this vcc voltage from this pin so it will determine how much voltage are in the output section for this ic an optocoupler can also be connected from output section to pin number 2 so this is current mod and voltage mod this IC will basically will switch at the amount of current flowing in this MOSFET. Why? Because it have to ensure the current and the amount of voltage will be maintained from this feedback pin, pin number 2. So this IC will use two type of feedbacks. Voltage feedback from voltage pin to error amplifier and pin number 3 is current sense amplifier. So it will check the current sense. In switch mode power supply, this IC will ensure the amount of current and amount of voltage. It have to regulate the voltage and it have to limit the current at specific value. It will monitor this current, this R sense, this is sense resistor. So it will check the amount of current flowing through this resistor and drop voltage with respect to amount of current. So that level of voltage will feed to this I sense pin, current sense pin. So based on this current sense pin and voltage feedback from pin number 2, this IC will adjust its duty cycle. If we see this configuration, it is current mod and voltage mod SMPS. The first example that was voltage mod. The second example current mod and voltage mod and it is also current mod and voltage mod. It is 384 x series 4 2 4 3 4 5 4 6 how we can say it is current mod the mosfet and a series resistor connected to ground and the mosfet second end is connected to the primary of transformer and second end of primary transformer is connected to the main bulk capacitor here it is number circuit this bias winding will give voltage to this rectifier and it will give to VCC pin. So this VCC pin is used to check the under voltage and overload protection. So it will establish the working window of this IC for minimum duty cycle to maximum duty cycle. And when we will take output voltage at this pin, when the level of voltage will maintain 12 volts, it will give a feedback. How it will give feedback? We have a voltage divider network here, two resistors, one and two. This one is adjustable to adjust the output level for a limited amount of voltage. These two resistors will determine the offset voltage to this TL431, AZ431 
when it will receive 2.5 volt at this reference pin so it will give a drive signal enable signal to, to this optocoupler and it will monitor the ripples on this capacitor so output voltage level will be monitored and it will feed to pin number 2 and pin number 3 is current sense CS so this IC will monitor the amount of current and amount of voltage so this is current mode and voltage mode so it will ensure the 12 volt and 5 ampere if our load will drive above 5 ampere so this IC will not allow to give more current more than 5 ampere so this is current limit less than 5 ampere it will work normally but above 5 ampere this IC will limit its switching level to 5 ampere but if 5 ampere and the voltage will drop at 5 ampere so this IC will work in reboot mode it will start fluctuating why because this IC cannot drive more than 5 ampere but the load is trying to draw more current so the voltage level will drop when the voltage level will drop and the current is at its, its maximum limit so this, uh, this IC will go in reboot mode it will start fluctuation the same is here here is top switch so top switch is also voltage mode and current mode here pin X pin that is current limit pin external current limit pin so this 9.9 .9 kilo ohm resistor will give a voltage divider network from this series resistor 4.7 mega and R2 is 9.09 .09. so this this pin will use to limit the current at a specific level 2.5 ampere and it will receive a voltage feedback to control pin from this optocoupler when it will maintain 12 volts it will give feedback to control pin that the voltage are arrived so this IC will adjust its duty cycle now we have to see the working of welting machine as we discussed in voltage mod SMPS in current mod SMPS and current and voltage mod SMPS they monitor the output voltage and they limit the current at a specific value but in welding machine if we see here these are the output rectifiers of a welding machine so here we have a shunt resistor the voltage are rectified from this point this is negative line but in positive line we have a shunt resistor here 0.32 milli ohm so this current will flow th through this shunt through this series resistor even it is 0.32 milli ohm it is a very low ohmic value but the amount of current is high so it will cause to drop voltage here so this voltage will drop and it is taken across this resistor through this X2 connector and these voltage are applied to control card pin number 4 and it is applied to this operational amplifier and this operational amplifier to pin number 2 it will adjust it will amplify this voltage and it will control the pin number 9 of SG3525 in this welding machine control card the pulse width is controlled depending on the amount of current flowing in the output section which is translated in respective voltage relative voltage and it is amplified and it is fed to pin number 9 but we have to understand stand another thing what is that that is the amount of voltage from this current adjustment knob that is in the front panel so this potentiometer will set the amount of voltage from the center pin we have to set amount of current from the front panel we set a limit of current from this potentiometer and it will fed to this feedback network and at this summing point we have two different things one is required current the second the flowing current the both amount of currents will calculated here added or subtracted so these two voltage levels at this summing point will fed to this base 
of this transistor and it will control the compensation pin, pin number 9. To this SD3525, pin number 1 that is grounded, pin number 2 it is also set through this 1 kilo ohm resistor with compensation pin, this is error amplifier. SD3525, pin number 1 that is inverting input. Here inverting input is grounded. So we have to amplify what we need from non-inverting input pin number 2. So pin number 2 is non-inverting input and pin number 9 is compensation. What we need? We need for example 100 ampere current from this pin from this point proportional voltage to 100 ampere will apply to pin number 9 and this IC will start switching. Now for example 80 ampere is flowing in the output side. So this operational amplifier will amplify the respective voltage to 80 ampere from this pin to this point and we require 100 ampere. So 20 ampere difference that is that will have amount of voltage that will fed to this IC. So this IC will adjust more duty cycle to give more 20 ampere to complete 100 ampere in the output section. So this is its working concept. So it will add or subtract these two values required amount of current and the flowing amount of current through this shunt resistor. It will not monitor the voltage. It will just only check the amount of current through this resistor, through this shunt. So in welding machine, even the output terminal voltage because there is short circuit. We produce a short circuit. We produce a very less ohmic value because when the electrode is touched between two terminals, it will cause to draw maximum current and the voltage will drop might be around 1 volt or less. It will not take care for voltage. It will just only check the amount of current because this SMPS, this switch mode power supply works on current base. For example, we adjusted 100 ampere and 100 ampere is flowing through, through the shunt resistor. So at this summing point required current and flowing current is equal. So this IC will fix its duty cycle at that point. If we set 200 ampere and 100 ampere is flowing in the output section. So this summing point will make a difference in plus or minus voltage or a specific voltage level depending among, upon the biasing of this operational amplifier. So this IC will increase or decrease its duty cycle to limit the current, to increase the current, to decrease the current. I hope so this video is informative for you. If it is informative, give a thumb up. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. If you want to watch my future videos, you can press bell icon button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.